Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll, and your co-host, him, Ja. All right, this is the last day that Jordan is going to be here. He's going off to do some other adventure tomorrow. And we were originally planning on doing uh, something that kind of fell through at the last minute. So instead, Jordan has decided that he wants to go visit the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Garage. You may recall that we vlogged that when, uh, when we drove to Texas about six months ago. And Jordan was really, really into the food and decided he wanted to have some good Texas barbecue uh, again today. So I think we're going to drive out to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Garage. Uh, so, you know, this is going to probably be a, uh, a restaurant vlog too because, hey, you know, why not? We're going to have food, but we're also going to kind of check out the place again and look at it from my perspective. Uh, one of the things Jordan was saying is when we were there before, they had a replica of the van from the movie, and but it was in pretty bad shape. It was in rough shape. The tires were flat, and uh, it didn't really look that much like the uh, the actual van from the well. It looked like it, but it was in like I said, it was in really rough shape. And Jordan was saying he thought that they said that maybe it would be fixed by now. So you know what, we're gonna check out that place and. And you know, see what, see how the food is again. It was really great the first time, and uh, you know, let's check it out and see it again. So let's go to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Garage. Sorry, Jaw, you got to stay behind. All right, we are here. This is the gas station from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one from uh, by Toby Hooper back in the 70s. Yeah, it's really cool to be here again. We. Uh, when we were driving out to Texas in, uh, from California back last May, we stopped in this place and we actually spent the night here. But it's really kind of cool to see it again. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of covering on the outside of it because, you know, you saw it on Jordan's vlog, uh, you know, seven months ago. But I will look at a couple of things because uh, I didn't really cover this a whole bunch because I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna duplicate what Jordan was doing. So I just kind of, you know, alluded a little bit to my to it in my video, but see, I don't think this I, this was here, but I don't think it had uh, as much of the decoration as it does now. But yeah, there's uh, dedications to the to the individuals who uh, were in the movie have died: Gunnar Hansen, Jim Sado, Robert Corton. I guess every one of these people have died now. And they got a got a chainsaw out here. That's kind of cool. I don't remember that being here before. You know, leather face mask and the hammer. That's kind of cool. Please don't sit on the memorial bench. The saw is family. That's cool. So they got this cool replica of the van too in the back. I'm told it isn't the actual van, but just the same make and model in here. And I guess I got it wrong. I guess they weren't going to fix this thing up. There's like a uh, truck in the, uh, an antique truck in the front that they were going to fix up, but it doesn't look like they've done that either. I just thought this place, this thing needed to have the tires repaired. Yeah, maybe put, put up on blocks or something like that. Looks like they're just storing stuff in it right now. Seems to me they kind of need to put like a wheelchair ramp in here just to make it more authentic. But it's cool, it's kind of neat to have it here. So what they did is they moved this thing here a few years ago um, and just kind of bought this property and they've got all these cool little bungalows here that you can actually rent and stay in. And so when we were uh, driving out here, Jordan and I rented one of these and stayed here and it was really cool. We were in this one right here, this one directly in front, and it was just us. And then there was a young couple in the in the next in the next bungalow, and we were the only ones here at night. So it was really cool, just kind of hang out, do our own thing. Supposedly there was a copy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in each one of the rooms, but there wasn't one in ours. So fortunately, we we brought a copy with us and. Actually, that looks like that's like a movie theater, like they could almost project it on the screen here if they had the screen up. 
and they have some of the best barbecue in town that you can get here so I think uh, we're gonna go in and get some of that for lunch because Jordan's uh, got up this morning and we when we had the other thing canceled from underneath us uh, you know he said well let's go out to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre garage and have barbecue because he's in the mood for barbecue so here we are so this is that uh, pickup truck that supposedly was supposed to be uh, repaired but apparently has not been yet it's kind of a cool rusting old hulk as it is so it just seems like one of those things that if they don't do something with it before too long uh, it's probably not going to be anything but just kind of a brown spot on the ground but I guess they don't have to worry about anyone stealing it it's booted that's the original sign from the from the movie. You know, you pull up the pull up screenshots from the movie, and you know that thing is still there. It looks like it's probably been uh, restored, but you know it looks very much similar to the original one. Then, of course, there's that famous scene uh, where the kids, after they come uh, come out from the cemetery where the graves have all been desecrated, and they're parking the van right here to get some gas. This is where they've kind of meet the uh, meet the family for the first time, and ultimately, this is sort of where it ends too, because one of the survivors uh, ends up coming back from the house afterwards and uh, tries to run into this door to escape, and finds finds father there, who's uh, all too willing to help capture her. And they got these great uh, neighborhood watch signs, Freddy Krueger. I might get one of these here. This looks pretty cool. Some cool action figures, Halloween, Halloween 2, It, Friday the 13th, Trick or Treat, Gremlins, Nightmare on Elm Street, Predator, Pennywise. Yeah, they got all sorts of cool stuff in here. Uh, check out this cool uh, Freddy Krueger prop. This is kind of like the one they had me wearing in uh, Silent of the Screams. You know, it looks like it's got actual metal blades. A lot of times you get the ones and they're just plastic blades, but you know, the, now this this one doesn't look quite as uh, high quality as the one I had in uh, in Temple, but it's still kind of cool. Check out the Freddy Krueger dolls and Michael Myers and the Shining Twins. Very cool. Some kind of cool posters, including a picture of the uh, the garage we're in right now. I love that movie. That's a great uh, that's a great sequel. Jordan, I visited the Unita. Uh, medical supply store when we were in one of our vlogs back in California. Great movie poster. Pretty cool uh, Clockwork Orange poster too. That one's a good one. And I swear just a couple months ago I didn't even know what Funkos are and now they're everywhere. I'm guessing they probably were everywhere before but you know if you're not familiar with them you just don't pay attention all of a sudden you're aware of them and then you just see them everywhere. So this is a menu of the stuff you can get at the uh, at the garage here if you choose to come. I'm gonna get the combo plate with the brisket and sausage, and it comes with a couple sides. And I've gone with the uh, coleslaw and the potato salad. So we'll see how that is. Like I'm really surprised. It's not like I haven't eaten here before and don't have at least a vague notion of what I'm getting. Uh, I noticed they got a real chainsaw in here. It says, please do not touch. It's probably good advice. You see they have a little uh, thing on the wall there that tells you how to properly cut up humans. That's probably a good thing to do if you're going to be serving, serving really tasty barbecue. Free hugs. Some of these are pretty cool. Meet the Sawyers with meat spelled M-E-A-T. Yep, you know what you're getting. <laughs> when it comes to chainsaws, ask a pro. I kind of love this Japanese uh, t-shirt. That's kind of cool too. They got a couple of Japanese ones. Where barbecue is still slaughtered. That's a classic picture right there. They even got them autographed it. That's cool. All right, because I completely forgot to uh, properly vlog my last restaurant vlog here because I got distracted. We're gonna do it right the first time here. Now when the lady came out and brought this out, she said, oh yeah, it doesn't really look that good. And it's like, yeah, you're wrong. It actually looks awesome. So they have two kinds of barbecue sauce here. They're plain wimpy stuff and the high octane red stuff. And you guess you can probably guess which one I'm using. 
it's actually really good. So I've seen a few reviews on this place that say they've given kind of poor reviews to the uh, the food. Yeah, just between you and me, those people are on dope. This stuff is awesome. Jordan also suggested I should mention that it's served on an authentic styrofoam plate here because it isn't uh And only it, the best china. Of course, yeah. I'm actually surprised they didn't give us like a spork. Hey, that's just show, that goes to show that the food is the most important part. Right? So I'd like to thank my newest Patreon, Phoenix Nimix. Thank you, Phoenix, for supporting my channel. So, all right, that was really good. Um, I did got to get a couple of uh, pieces of merchandise. I got a t-shirt and a uh, metal sign for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That one that uh, that talked about the Neighborhood Watch program that had the, uh, the, the leather face and the family in the background. So um, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. And I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Price of electricity will put a man out of business. There's the final word on that. Night, everyone.